Hello everyone, my name is Otavio, who is speaking right now. Thank you to be here. And today let's talk about at least a little bit more deeper on RIT model. I got some questions around the model and, and they enjoy a lot. However, they want to go more and with a real case sample to model my application with rich model. Basically, the main idea of rich model is to avoid the anemic and to explore more the oriented object aspect and avoid any kind of out the suction button in your design code. Please allow me to explain what we're gonna do today. So basically, we're gonna explain a team player mainly because right now I'm playing uh, the Mario Soccer and Nintendo Swift and enjoy a lot. So I decided to use this case as sample today. So basically we have a player with goals, salary, city, name and position and my team with the players, of course. And I need to return the goals, the number of goals, the average of goals, and I need to map by name and also map by positions. My first step is to create my player, my soccer player, where it will have the name. Uh, we already talked about salary, right? So monetary amount, salary. You probably saw why I should I use money API instead of double, big decimal, and so on. So please take a look in this video. Uh, name, also city, and number of goals, score, and finally the position. Okay, where I will create an un where I will have a goalkeeper, a defender, and an attacker. Okay, that is it for, for now. If I able to use a multiple class, okay, but sometimes we need to work with JPA or any kind of uh, Anti model framework or RM. I'm going to use final here, but the idea is to try to encapsulate as much as possible. I will create my constructor here, and that is a nice case to explore the builder and also the fluent API. In this case here, I will explore the the builder one, especially because of the time it's not the goal to explore the fluent API here. So I will create my player builder. As I said before, to me, it does make sense to a player builder, create a player. I mean, if a play, uh, player builder, for sure, they will create a, a player. So I will rename this method to this build. Also, it's natural to a player create this kind of thing. I will avoid to anybody create this class outside this package. So I will define the default package because I want to, I do the same here. I want to people use the, this class here, okay? The encapsulation is one way to give tips to your user of the API, of your API, so using calculation, I don't want two people use here. So imagine right now I have a new package. Let's call uh, the client package here, where I will create any kind of client. So I'm not able to do new player builder. Not able to do that, but I can do the player and then the builder method and then do the validation and so on. Okay, 
Uh, I have my player with the information, usually as I said before, I need to work with JPA or any kind of ORM framework. What can I do is deprecate this constructor here and put any kind of Java doc, like please use the builder method instead. It is frame to framework only. And then you're able to use the link player builder. So everybody, when you write what you use this method, you're gonna see that information. Uh, okay, I have that, that information. Let's move on to my team where I have the name and then my list of players. Okay. Uh, let's measure right now, I choose using JPA or any kind of ORM framework, but what can I do here is to have a constructor to a team where I will start by a array list and I able to create my public static team stack matter factory of string name um, the validation as usual objects required a new oops name is required and then I able to do the new team name and yes you can use here as a private remember uh, the encapsulation so you need to do the getter setter no no you the getter uh, make sure that you we return a modifiable list like I'm doing here so nobody is able to change or modify anything outside the team and if they want to add they need to use the add method inside my class so this Players add let validate here. Player player is required, and that is it. So right now I have the basic same model of player, and then the team. You have the team, you have everything. So if you, it's a good idea to create a test to reproduce that. Create a test. To reproduce whatever you want but okay let's go to the condition so right now I have a together to the team okay um, if I want to be able to group by positions so we, we can do the public map position uh, player get player oops group by position and then we can explore the player string and the collector and then the group by where I have my player Oops, get position. I need to create the getter and setter as well. In this case, I will try to avoid the getter and setter, but I will create only the getters here. So let's see what's going on. So uh, the idea is every time that I map the position, it will return to me a 
list of players. So if I have several attackers, it will return a list of attackers and so on. And it's the initial idea. In fact, we able to test the, the whole code here. So let's create the what should create team. Team, team, new, oops, Mario Soccer game, where I would to add a player. In this case, let them put validation. So let's put Mario with the position of Attacker and let's put leader Luit as a defender. Right now, I will return by position. And yes, we are able to check if it's not new. Put by position. And then you can do a position attacker and it should return Mario on uh, it. Okay, you are able to do the assert that. So let me show to you. I will do the two string. And then run the test to see. And hopefully it will work. And as you can see, I have Mario uh, with the attacker position. Yeah. You also have the option here to test better than log. So we're able to use frameworks such as Hubcraft. So matcher. Uh, assert sorry watcher assert I set that players matchers contains and then you can put Mario you can convert Mario as a variable and Mario and then test here. Remember always to override the equals and hash code to make sure your your test is doing fine. Okay. I don't remember if I did it, but it will be okay if you do, okay? Basically is it. Okay, let's go to the final step today where we will do a summary statistic of the score of the players. So I will have my int summary statistic get score summary where I will return this players string map to int player score. Let's make it a little bit more beautiful here and then summary summary statistic yeah we have sun we have average you have this kind of information but this class return the complete information that I'm gonna show you now so public file should create summary Let's use the power of call paste. Right now we are using an anemic build because I don't have any kind of validation, but let's keep it here for a while. 
uh, score. Okay, Mario, you in score one. Okay, you should be Luigi. Uh, okay, let me check, and then I will return a summary here. And it's it's class belongs to the the job itself so as you can see I have the sum the average the count the max I mean so I have this kind of formation here thank you for watching uh, let's let's pull this sum for example here where equals three and let's say queue the test and here you go it's loading it's loading it's loading and yes it's working thank you for watching see you next time